This is a filament LED light bulb. I came across this one on eBay and I was really interested how does it work, what's inside and what quality can I get. It comes in three different power versions, 2 watt, 4 watt and 6 watt. And I chose the 2 watt one. This was for only $1.50. And as always I chose the cheapest possible one to see what can I get for the money. And the last time I have disassembled those two LED light bulbs, one from a local supermarket and one from eBay. And the quality was quite a difference, but both of them had almost the same schematic, it was a capacitive dropper. But this one has a very small base and I doubt this has a capacitive dropper inside it, because it's just too small. So what can be inside? Just a resistor and a bridge, or a switching regulator, switching supply, buck regulator, or what can this be? A linear regulator. So let's see. So let's unbox it. This time the box arrived without any damage. The last time the box came like this. So let's open it up. And there's a nice package. Nice protective package. It has two filaments in it and a small E14 base. And it seems like the 2W version has two filaments and the 4W version will have four filaments in it. The two filaments are in series. So let's try it out and see what power does it draw. It works at 1.5 watts times 10 range, 1.5, 1.6 watts. And that's close and it's very flickery. It doesn't really flicker but in the camera you can see the flicker. It means it has 100 Hz flicker in it quite a lot of flicker actually, so I think this is just a resistor and a bridge or maybe a buck regulator without any filter capacitor. This is a warm white version and unfortunately this one is hard to open and unlike the other ones this one cannot be opened without destroying it. But anyway I have bought it just to open it up so let's begin. This is going to be very destructive, unfortunately. And a lot of sharp metal. Okay. The screw base is gone. And there's the tip with some wire and another wire going to the shell. This is some tube, it's not a heat shrink tube. It's Looks like a heat resistant tube. Okay, how do I remove it? Okay, so there are the two input wires. And there's the circuit board. What? Okay, so 
there is just a bridge rectifier and a resistor 102 this is a 1 kilo ohm resistor and on the other side there is a big multi-layer ceramic capacitor and 105 resistor this is 1 mega ohm resistor okay the schematic will be quite simple the mains comes in one side goes directly into a bridge rectifier the other one goes through a capacitor and a 1 mega ohm resistor the positive goes through a 1 kilo ohm resistor and through the filament which basically is a lot of LEDs in series and that's it the supply has just four components a capacitor, two resistors and a bridge this is a 1k resistor and this is a 1 mega ohm resistor and this capacitor I don't know, it's not marked but I'm going to measure it ok, it seems like 313 nanofarads so this is going to be the nominal of 330 nanofarads okay this is probably 330 nano and I'm not sure what voltage it is rated for the bulb is made of glass it's not plastic you see the glass just like in the ordinary light bulbs and it even has a stem on it which seems to be sealed so I don't know what's inside the glass is there air or vacuum or some kind of gas and how much current does it draw and this is definitely not a good way to measure the current 10.6-10.5 milliamps okay because I'm interested what pressure is inside I will open the stem underwater and see what happens if bubbles come out it means there is overpressure if the water will be sucked in there is vacuum or low pressure and if nothing happens there is atmospheric pressure in it it's immersed in water I just broke the stem and nothing seems to happen no bubbles, no water is sucked in so it appears to contain a pressure almost equal to atmospheric pressure so there are the filaments the surface of the filament seems to be soft like a rubber I have just powered up the filament with a very low DC current to see the chips in it and it seems there are 22 chips in each filament so this is 44 chips in total all in series so the total voltage should be 44 times 3 volts across each LED and this is about 132 volts ok and the actual voltage drop is about 123 volts the quality of the chips seems to be excellent because even at a very low current, like 50 microamps, they light up all evenly. For the $1.50, including shipping, it's actually not so bad. It's quite bright and the only problem is the flicker and maybe also the absence of a fuse. Because I would probably put a fuse or fusible resistor here. I'm not sure why they put this resistor here. I would put it here and it could work as a fusible resistor because if the capacitor goes short and the bridge rectifier goes short as well there is nothing to stop the current it's really quite a small capacitor I'm really not sure what voltage it is rated for this is Diagon Wild and see you in my next videos